Oh, there's a spider on my camera. Hi, I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. My family's been blessed to farm in Montana for over a hundred years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior Jesus Christ. Well guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't uh, been here before, I'm Tony Fast. Now we're in the middle of a wheat harvest. Well, maybe. Just uh, finished cutting the durum that we're gonna cut on this west side of the farm. It's only had about an inch of rain all year since it was planted. Had no subsoil moisture, no snowfall to melt, to melt in the spring. So conditions are really stacked against us to not really do much. That's what happened. This field over here, I'm going by average around just shy of five bushels, which kind of surprised us when it was durum we wanted to cut that because that's got some potential of some really good market rally durum can really run durum's used for pasta not bread so it's a grain that's used for pasta if you're wondering what that's for um i just tried cutting a little bit of wheat spring wheat bread wheat stuff that's made into flour that's made into bread stuff like that that is around two bushels or less maybe closer to one because there's some spots where they're just showing nothing on the monitor so, I think we're done cutting wheat around this area. I'm gonna run 15, 20 miles north, go look at those fields. They did catch some more showers throughout the growing season, so maybe there's a chance we can move up there and cut some wheat today. So here's that thousand acre field. Grasshoppers flying in here, stupid things. And uh, I think it's good to go. A few green spots, a few green heads in the low spots, but match and blend off. It's short, but the heads are pretty good sized and they filled out good, so. My guess is 12 bushels per acre. Maybe 10. We'll find out. Well, I got the text saying we're moving north. The wheat's ready up north. So, here comes Warren to put his header on the header trailer. Evening Christmas, that's a lot of grasshopper. Well, just got combines moved up here. There we go. Dad's gonna make a cut, get my header put on, and I'll go get the rest of the equipment. Turn to move now. Start the long journey. Going in and getting a little bit cut last night. Cut 110 acres or something like that. Filled up both combines once. So it's only running about six bushels. And today, it's just dad and I out here. Colin's gonna be gone for a little while. He's got some family uh, kind of get together and uh, he's heading back to Minnesota for that. So we'll just cut fill the grain cart, dump the grain cart in the trucks. The trucks get full before tonight, one of us will go dump them. If not, we'll take them back to the bin tonight and dump them tonight. Oh yeah, we gotta get butcher cows loaded up for the morning too, for tonight. I don't know, I'm gonna go start combining. First, gotta turn our GPS on. And start it, accept it in the monitor. It's like we're ready to go, engage to the Separator and the header. Full throttle. Here we go. Well, time to dump the cart. It's got the last field we finished cutting on. We jumped in this big thousand acre block now. It's sort of cut and they got grain I need to unload and you need to keep them separate for uh, different field production. So I'll dump the cart and then go get the, oh, there's a spider on my camera. <laughs> there he's gone. Don't know where he went, but. All right, let's see if I remember how to do this cart thing. Through a dirty window, but we're figuring it out. Counting off on the rebab. Better pay attention now. Go, 
50,000 pounds in ish. Unload the combine and uh, dump the rock trap. Oh, there's a couple good ones in there. Better check the front. The rock catcher doohickey area. Oh yeah, there's some there too. And another, oh, that's a good one. While this little torturous harvest of 2021 continues, I did set my skid plates down on the uh, bottom of the header. Got them in the lowest position. Kind of keep it out of the rocks a little bit better. And uh, also leaving a few heads, but I guess a broken combine is worse than leaving a few heads out there. So. Yeah, we're about got our second truck field. Then we can go home, go load up some beef cows, take it to the butcher. You want to see how boring this is? That's why I really haven't filmed much, but here it is. And that is calibrated now. Field across the road that we started cutting last night, average six bushels per acre. This block's averaging four. But we did uh, sign off on 4,000 acres of abandoned crop on crop insurance today. So harvest just got a whole lot shorter today. I'm not going to have to go cut all that. After we finish this field, there's, oh, I don't know, six, seven hundred acres left in this one. Got another 500 acres up here, and then there's 1,700 acres of canola and like 1,200 acres of derb left over on the east side of the farm. So I'd say it's when Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday today. By next Friday, we should be pretty much wrapped up with harvest, which would be middle of August. Usually we're middle of September before we're done. So we're flying. But the sample looks pretty good. hoppers in here but they're all dead now they dry gray and they'll dry out really fast they'll just be really light because as the moisture comes out of them there's basically nothing to them so they won't cost too much dockage or anything like that but they'll be cleaned out before the weeds made into flower just like any of the chaff or weeds would be so this becomes dockage nothing we can do about it and cows how are you doing Oh, look at this. It rained here last night. All right, fire up. I got a sickle section I need to change. Did a pretty good number on that one. Sure, the bolts are right off. I probably should go get the fuel truck and get some fuel pumping while I'm uh, working on that sickle, though.
You got a bat and bat? Yeah. Well, we changed that bearing out, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm looking for a guard straightener. Yeah. Well, I've been cutting for two hours and 45 minutes. Just got my full alarm. It's convenient because it's uh, also time for a pit stop. Bathroom break. Here we go. Well, charge full. Time to go dump it. I think the saying goes, uh, friends don't let friends raise flocks. This was 2019 flax crop before we started renting this ground. It's late harvest, it snowed. We couldn't get it all cut in the spring. It was just jammed up for sickle. We couldn't get it to burn. It was too thin. So we ended up seeding through it. And that was a mistake. I don't know what else we would have done. We tried and tried to get it to burn. But all those great bunches out there, that's all flax straw. Well, we have about 850 acres of this field cut now. Uh, 1100 by the time we get done on the map. So I don't know if the monitors are counting the shy of that. I'm going to go dump the cart again here now. I'm going to have not quite fail with mine, but I'll go and catch dad so he can keep cutting and we're not both waiting. The combine stop. So on load and then go get him. Alright, better go tarp this truck because we got 
showers to the west of us all of a sudden and uh, some lightning. So, who knows, fire pops up somewhere around. We might not get back over here in time to tarp it. Storm's getting kind of close. Some lightning up above us and Dad said about a mile, two miles up ahead, it's a lightning strike. So, to keep our eye out for any fires. Oh, there was another one. Still going. No storm yet. See the mirror out there. Still staying north of us. If you're a farmer and you don't play the light game, shame on you. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, the light game is who can last the longest without turning on their lights in the field. Dad's up over the hill. Uh, no lights yet. My windows are getting a little dusty. It's getting a little hard to see. This camera makes it look better, but we'll see. See who can win tonight. His lights are on. He's a mile. Just shot. Well, about a mile away from me. It's like an unspoken game that everybody plays. Neighbors, guys in the same field, grain cart, tractor, sprayer, it don't matter. Combines, swathers, balers, everyone plays a light game. Unless nobody is around. If there's nobody around, then you turn your lights on like half an hour ago. Just because you have them. Ta-da! Storm sure seems to just be hanging there, not really moving. Yeah, I can see that lightning to the southwest. Yeah, it looks like it's raining here to the just a mile north of us now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where it's gonna end yet. Just don't know if it's gonna keep coming or not. You coming on the south side? Yeah. Whoa. Big one. It's not good. There's no rain out there. Another good one. Another one. I turned around and getting a few raindrops here on it. I figured I'd have a little bit over three quarters here. Number two remote left the auger up. Waited just a little too long to shut down. Ran pretty good. Thank goodness for the lightning. I'm glad it's raining. Dad's down there getting ready to crank the tarp over. Now I'm going to fold my green tank down. Well, we're done for the day or the night, whatever time it is.
of a late start this morning with the rain shower last night, so I got some video editing done at home this morning. We're gonna dump trucks, then go back up and cut for a few hours and uh, hopefully finish that field that we're on right now. Check out the grasshoppers here, it's getting crazy. cut again. This side of the combine got washed. Not so much that side. Well, we cut for two hours, Dad's still cutting. Uh, I got enough to fill a truck, and I got plans for tonight. So Dad is going to uh, keep cutting. Probably got 50, well, there's a little 40 acre field over there. 100 acres left. He might get this finished tonight. Maybe about three more hours. Yeah, we'll see. If he does, if he doesn't, whatever. Normally, this time of year, it's like all harvest, nothing else. Set Sundays off for the church family day and go to the lake, but uh, Harvest is what it is what it is and at this point I'm over the drought. Thankfully we've got some crop left from last year to sell at higher prices we're gonna be just fine. I'm really looking forward to next spring and getting going back in the field and get another chance of doing this all over again. So God is good. He provides for us and I'm gonna go take this truck to the bins and go uh, to a concert tonight at the county fair. I haven't done that in a long time. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget like and subscribe if you haven't already. Fast Egg merch, all that stuff on Farm Focus, so go check them out. Lots of other creators on there as well. I'll put the description in the link below, but there is a sale on right now, 10% off. So, go check all that out. New designs coming. Hopefully, by the time this video is out, there will be some new logoed t-shirts available, and there will be hats eventually. So, farm hard, pray harder. See you guys next video.